baby child, this one is going to be short, sweet, and messy. And y'all already know that's just the way I like it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aston Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. All right, so I was on Twitter, minding my business being nosy, and I come across the fact that Nicki Minaj's ex-boyfriend, Safari, who is now engaged to Erica Menem, said that he was banned from Power 105. He posted this to his Twitter. He says, find out today that I'm banned for Power 105. It was all good just a week ago. Now, if Power 105 sounds familiar to y'all, that's because that's what a show, The Breakfast Club, is very popular. And that show is hosted by Angela Yee, Charlemagne, and DJ Envy. Now, if you have an advanced degree in those retrology like I do myself, you would know that DJ Envy used to relentlessly, relentlessly cheat on his wife Gia with Erica Mena, who is now engaged to Safari. Mm-mm, child, let me clutch my messiness and gather myself. So basically, Safari can't go back up to the Breakfast Club because Erica Mena can't go back up to the Breakfast Club. And Erica Mena can't go back up to the Breakfast Club because she used to be DJ Envy's mistress. Mm-mm, child, that's it. That's all. Like I said, short, sweet, and messy. And y'all already know that's just the way I like it. Anyway, baby child, y'all know I mind's my business and I'm going to do just that. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about this situation down in the comments. I ain't even going to ask who's right and who's wrong because in this situation, I mean, it just is what it is. I just want y'all to tell me how messy it is down in the comments. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Moving on. Mm-mm, child, it's all a shame and a scandal, a shame and a scandal. Now, y'all know we've been doing a drama watch for a little Mo and her husband for the last couple of days because he allegedly, allegedly stole this woman's debit card and charged $170 worth of stuff at a Dave & Buster's for his children. Now, if y'all ask me, I just want to say, why are you going into Dave & Buster's with no money with six or seven children? But anyway, so with the video that I made yesterday, link in the description box, he denied that he stole the woman's debit card, but his wife, Lil Mo, claims that he did it. And not only that, her children came home and told that he did it. Now, even though she didn't say anything before the woman said anything, now Lil Mo is attempting to untether herself from him and the situation. Child, she even called him a bum. But wasn't he a boom when you been with him all these years? But anyway, she posted this to her Instagram. She says, queen, with three exclamation marks. I don't do boom poop or flop with peasants. Oh, he's a peasant now. Okay. Elf Ninja Free Glow. Get rid of the dead weight and level up. Told y'all I was going to get me back. Believe in me. Lil Mo, hashtag Savage Heart. It's a movement. I reinvented myself. Mm-mm. Not a little shade, but a lot. Now, this kind of reminds me of the James Charles and Tati situation. Now, she was cool with James Charles being racist, hitting on straight guys, and lying all the time. But as soon as he promoted a business that was her competitor, then all of a sudden, she ain't want nothing else to do with him. I want y'all to think about that for a second. But y'all know I man's my business, and I'm going to do just that. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about this situation down in the comments. Who's right and who's wrong? Or should I ask... Who's telling the truth and who's lying? Or should I ask, if his bad behavior wasn't bothering you before, why is it bothering you now? Because trust me, trust me, there's a lot of rumors out on the streets about him and his extracurricular activities. But anyway, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just here for the mess and they are providing me with plenty. Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Y'all know what I'm saying? Moving on. Well, I'm definitely going to need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get to other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent, I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.